On the left side we have all the mobs in Minecraft sorted by their health. Each point of health is represented by a block of red concrete. On the right side we have some damage sources comparable to these health pools. Each point of damage is represented by a block of grey concrete. For example, tiny slimes and tiny magma cubes have one point of health. Breeze's wind charge deals one point of damage and player deals the same damage with an empty hand. This means that you can kill a tiny slime with a single punch, however you can't do that with a tiny magma cube. Some mobs have natural defense points, indicated by these armor icons, that lower the amount of damage they take. Next, all types of fish, as well as rabbits, have 3 points of health. Standard zombie deals 3 points of damage and player can deal the same damage with a stone pickaxe. These mobs have 4 points of health. Shulker's bullet as well as an angry wolf deal 4 points of damage. Player can do the same with a wooden sword. These mobs have 6 points of health. And Blaze's melee attack deals 6 points of damage. Player can do the same with an iron sword or a splash potion of harming. An untamed wolf, as well as three other mobs, have 8 points of health. Piglin with a golden sword deals 8 points of damage, and player can do the same with a netherite sword. All of these have 10 points of health. Panda must be of the weak type, indicated by their snotty nose. Warden's sonic boom deals 10 points of damage, and player can do the same with a netherite axe. Keep in mind that the sonic boom bypasses all armor. You take 10 damage even if you are wearing a maxed netherite set. Armadillos and cave spiders have 12 health. Ravager deals 12 damage and player can deal the same with a stone axe enchanted with sharpness 5. Or an enhanced splash potion of harming. Vexes, sniffers and axolotls have 14 points of health. No mob deals 14 damage, but Vindicators and Piglin Brutes deal one less. Player can do that with a Netherite Axe enchanted with Sharpness 5. Horses and other mobs up here have a minimum of 15 health. Undead variants at the bottom always have 15 health. Warden's Sonic Boom deals 15 damage if you are playing on hard difficulty. All of the mob damage so far was for normal difficulty and it will be for normal difficulty unless indicated otherwise. Player can deal the same damage with a stone axe, enchanted with sharpness 5 and a strength potion. These mobs have 16 health. Player can deal 16 damage with a sharpness 5 netherite axe and a strength potion. All the mobs shown here have 20 health and that includes the player. Health is displayed as 10 hearts, each half a heart equals 1 point of health. Netherite Sword with Smite 5 deals 20 and a half damage, but only to undead mobs. Pillagers, Vindicators and Evokers have 24 health. This is the same as if player would eat a normal golden apple. Bow with power 5 deals a maximum of 25 damage but you should remember that its damage is randomized. Witches have 26 health and a critical hit with netherite axe with sharpness 5 and strength 2 deals 27 damage. This is the maximum melee damage that you can deal to another player without using a mace. In order to survive such hit, an iron armor with at least protection 1 is needed. Mobs up here always have 30 health. Shulker gets a ton of defense points, but only when it's closed. Mobs down here have a maximum of 30 health. Warden's melee hit deals 30 damage. Camels and illusioners have 32 health. An iron golem deals a maximum of 32.25 damage if you are playing on hard difficulty. After eating an enchanted golden apple, player has 36 health. A critical hit with netherite axe with smite 5 and strength 2 
deals 36.5 damage, but only to undead mobs. Tamed wolves, zoglins, hoglins and endermen have 40 health. A point blank explosion of a creeper deals 43 damage. Doing comparable damage with a maxed mace requires a tower of only 4 blocks. Piglin Brutes have 50 health. Warden's melee hit deals 45 damage if you are playing on hard difficulty. Wardens cannot kill a brute in one hit, but the mace needs only a tower of 5 blocks to do that. Elder Guardians have 80 health. A point blank explosion of a charge creeper deals 85 damage, and so does an end crystal. A maxed out netherite armor lets you barely survive that. Iron Golems, Ravagers and Giants have 100 health. Wither's initial explosion deals 103.5 damage if you are playing on hard difficulty. A tower of 15 blocks is needed for the mace to match that. It also grants an advancement over overkill. Ender Dragon is annoying because it can't be rotated for whatever reason. Anyway, it has 200 health. Nothing really does comparable damage because the strongest attack any mob can do to the player is the charged creeper explosion on hard difficulty which deals 127.5 damage. Armor alone is not enough to survive that, but with the help of enchanted golden apple you can survive up to 148 damage in one hit. Everything so far was correct for Java, but I decided to include Bedrock's Wither as well. Wither's health depends on the edition of the game. In Java it always has 300 health. In Bedrock that's true only on easy difficulty. On normal it gains 150 more health. It also gains additional attacks, but this is not a video about that. 380 is the damage taken from falling from maximum height to minimum height. Not enough to kill a warden, which has 500 health. Now that's a lot, but you can become even stronger than that. Wearing full netherite armor, enchanted with protection 4, eating an enchanted golden apple, and drinking an enhanced potion of Turtle Master lets you survive 595 damage in one hit. Almost enough to match the mob with the highest health, which is Bedrock Edition's Wither on hard difficulty, having 600 health. Withers are immune to fall damage, but if something isn't immune, it won't survive falling from maximum height to minimum height onto a pointed dripstone. This is 762 damage. Gast's Fireball can do even more than that. 1000 damage is dealt if player redirects a fireball into the Gast. Supposedly this was added to ensure that return to sender advancement kills the Gast, but come on, Gasts have only 10 health, this is a hundred times overkill. Here we have the maximum health a player can reach with commands. Each level of health boost adds 4 health, so health boost 256 should add 1024 onto my normal 20, resulting in 1044 health, right? Wrong. A hard coded limit in Minecraft's code sets the maximum health of any entity to 1024, and commands can't exceed that. These 20 blocks of black concrete represent the excess health. But wait, if that was the maximum, what is this next block? Well, you can add an additional 1024 points of absorption health on top of your normal maximum health. So the true limit is 2048. 
Interestingly, this is almost exactly the same as the damage dealt by a mace, falling from the maximum height to minimum height. If you apply strength 2 and jump at the highest block, you deal 2055 damage. At least in theory, because in practice the game really struggles with critical hits from large heights, and I was unable to perform one here, so this hit deals only 1365 damage. I'm not sure what exactly causes this problem, but it should be possible to do 2055 damage like that, if the game recognizes that the hit was critical. The Chunky Slime is another victim of the hard-coded health limit. Health of a slime is equal to its size square. This is the biggest possible slime, with size 127, so it should have over 16,000 health, but most of it is cut off by the limit, represented by this massive block of black concrete. On the other hand, damage is not capped by anything. According to my rough calculations, with a full inventory of fireworks and few spare elytras, you should be able to fly to about Y200,000, and if you land a hit with a maxed mace from such height, you can deal around a million points of damage, which is roughly the size of this giant block. But I'm not saying this is the maximum damage possible, as you can probably go even higher with some crazy player cannon, not to mention the teleport command. And it doesn't really matter whether you are falling from 10,000 or 1 million blocks, you will one-shot everything. That's it for this video, hope you enjoyed, bye.